plays me brawlers. Oh so. boy. HLB. Okay. Okay. There's, oh there's, God. there's two me brawlers. Put it on. Put it on. Uh, uh, put the song on. Put the song on. But they also, it's uh, HLB is a me brawler. You said. Yes. And we also have hockey. Yes, that was what? Hockey. There's hockey. Oh, hockey, yes. Yeah. And th those were the two me brawlers <laughs> that made it onto our PR or uh, temporary PR. Because who, who knows what's going to happen after after it gets people must reworked. Be, people must be fuming. They look <laughs> at the SoCal PR, these like SoCal unranked players, and they, like, they just kind of like, point at that list. What are the two me brawlers doing yes. on that list? <laughs> yes. All right, but here we go. Tater versus HLB. Wendy versus me brawler. If you were like to see this in Smash 4, I'd probably cry. Like I'd be like, what is happening with the Smash scene? Well, I mean, it's, it's happening now in Ultimate, man. Might as well cry now. Oh. <laughs> Look at these parries. Taylor's just flexing. But remember, um, there's been a lot of talks about how strong Bowser Jr. can potentially be. Because up throw leads into 45% yep. at zero. That up air is absolutely insane. I think it's like frame six. It's really quick. Combos into itself. Uh, so if, if, if Junior gets, or if the Koopalinks get one grab, the up throw into the up air is just like an easy 50%, like you said. He's able to get away from it. And here it goes. Like you said, try to get the confirmment there, but a little too high of a percent. So HLB, if there's one thing I will say about me, Brawler, Frame data ain't that bad. I'm gonna tell you right now. Frame data is really good. The Axe Kit is one of the best up B out of shield options that a character can have. And it's on me, Brawler. What is it called? The up B? Uh, it's like an Axe Kit. Oh, the Axe yeah. Kit. Rising yeah. Axe oh, Kick that comes back axe down. Axe that spikes as well. Axe kick, something like that. Yeah, That's the axe. toughest part about B Brawler is like knowing the names of their Every moves single one, moves. yeah. Like, come on. And we have we have yet to see the side special as well. Yeah. So we have to see what HLB gets go to for. Yeah, and HLB actually, like from the times I remember commentating his matches, he's very, very conservative with the side B. If I'm not mistaken, he has the like Falcon type side B where he like rushes you down and hits you with a flurry of oh, fists and yeah, sends that, you off uh, the top. That's what really scary about that. That kills at a hundred. Yep. That and kills at a hundred. Yep. So Tater Nader not too far away from that. And considering that uh, Koopalings are actually one of the heavier characters in the game, so it's uh, that it's that really strange mechanic. Oh, we'll actually get some of the up smash. But uh, like I was saying earlier, they have a special mechanic where if you hit them on the clown cart, you'll do less damage. Yeah. But if you actually hit the Koopaling like physically with the move, it does more damage. That's, that's kind of how the awkward thing works right, out for him. Exactly. But the problem with like HLB, most of his moves are going to hit that clown cart from like how he wants to combo it in, and he's using these bowling balls, just throwing them out, catches them out, but no kill just yet. But what's really strong about the bowling balls is that they have a lingering hitbox, and as well as that, you can usually you can actually do an air drift with them to change with your momentum. And remember, the awkward thing is that me brawler, they're four oh little kills. Oh my god, that was an amazing trap by Taternator. He uh, set up the Mecha Koopa so that when HLB landed, he had no place to go as uh, Taternator landed in front of him with the jab. So he was between uh, Wendy and the Mecha Koopa. Oh, but finally takes it with that HLB. Gets hit up by the neutral special. And you remember, the Koopa Link, you need to be careful about it, is that when it's near explosion, if the Bowser Jr. player picks it up, it resets the timer. That's what's really important about it. Yeah. You need to keep your eye on that one. And HLB trying to get the, the percentage down, but slowly but surely working on it. But the up, he actually oh. catches it out. Yeah, really unfortunate call from HLB. He tried to pressure Taternator on the platform with the up airs, but he uh, went through the platform and actually Taternator just using that awesome escape option, the up B, the ejecto seat, and the uh, the crown card actually, the explosion is, is really, really it's, strong. It's, it's ridiculously yeah. strong. And especially the fact that uh, when they're out from it, that forward air, when they're out of the crown card, hurts like a truck. Yeah. It does so much. And here comes the jabs. HLB really struggling right now. That's like one of the biggest weaknesses with Brawler. You can get percentage down, killing is a different story. Yeah. And it looked like HLB tried to contest the clown cart approach with an up B, but it just got beat out entirely. Nice, to the forward smash. <laughs> I didn't actually see what he confirmed that off of. He but. was landing fair. Nice. Hot, and then HLB tried to jump, and he caught it using the forward up tilt to the up smash. Nice, what a catch. Goodness. I mean, like, Brawler gets percentage down, and usually you're just like, Brawler can really like do well if the opponent doesn't have projectiles. Mm -hmm. 
But it's Wendy. Yeah. And the cl and the clown and it's uh, he's able to use that so much there. And HLB definitely struggling. What you see right there, and we saw no side specials, no windows of opportunity open for him to use his kill. That's one of the strongest. It's like one of the strongest in this game. Yeah, so let's see how uh, HLB adapts in this game too. He is using. I, I didn't see what variation. We'll find out. I don't think he even used uh, side B. It's bowling ball, um, rising axe kick, and then he's got the the weird down special where it grounds, where it does the. Um, the it's like it's like Bowser's down special, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, oh, no. that one's really good. You can confirm into that uh, if you catch the DI properly. You can actually um, reverse like edge guard someone as well. Like, it's a pretty good move. We didn't see too much of that either. So he did it that, once to confirm the stock. That's yeah. what took him in the first one. But HLB, what's really good about Tater, he's not letting HLB get any of these options down that Me Brawler is so strong for. Sure, he's able to get the occasional up he out of shield, but Tater is snuffing him out every single time. Oh my god, really well timed uh, get up attack using the invincibility on that to beat out the forward smash. Trying to use that, thankfully, does get away with it. Using the up air to try to follow him on there, crushing him on this platform. Uses the nair. That's not safe. Oh, it actually was slightly safe. Able to get away with it, but Tater doing such a good job. And there's one thing I love about his 1D play. He's able to recover really well and slow it down, but almost died for it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that that didn't KO. He's stuck in the rapid jobs. Okay. Doesn't get the punish. The platform actually gets in the way. To be honest, I would have liked to have seen Elcho be, uh, roll behind the rapid jab and just punish with the simple uh, smash attack. Yeah, there's a little bit of pressure going right now. A back air from me, Brawler Shipping to get. I think that's a confirm. It seems like a confirm. Easy stuff, man, and jab ridiculously fast and strong, killing by the ledge. Frame three, actually. The jab. Here it comes once more. Easy percent. HLB just struggling in this matchup. Doing the best as he can. And thank if there's one thing I'll give him credit for, he hasn't let Tater grab him at zero and get 48% off. Right? Yeah. Like that's one thing you can say. Oh, right. Tater's still doing a really good job here. Oh, just look just look at this like pressure that he's exerting. Yeah. And 160. Remember I said Reap Brawler struggles to kill? 159%. Yep. <laughs> Alright, All right, Tater Nader. Do what you gotta do, man. He's still alive. It's 169. He's gonna die. No way he dies. Oh hey. my god. Each will be IKEA! That was a crazy sick confirmation from Taternator actually using the, uh, is that the clown cart or the Mecha Koopa that exploded? Uh, Either way, he got him with a clown cart. cart. Yeah. Just, oh, oh my god, there it is again. He is sick, man. He is sick with it. Taternator, the sick 2 0. Jesus. That's wild. That, that came out.